Corvette Hop, and you can guess why they call me that name. We now have over 10,000 subscribers and 2 million views. That would not be happening if it wasn't for you, so thank you so much. Today we're going to install this 24,000 BTU Mr. Cool Air Conditioned Do-It-Yourself Unit inside this workshop. It is way too hot in Texas to do without. With that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, where are we going to put this mini split unit in this workshop? Hmm. We need to put it in a good location. How about right there? When the first thing I did was read the manuals, you have the big, thick manual, very intense, or the quick start manual, and this is the one I use for this installation. Use the cardboard template to mark all the holes for the air handler. I of course use a level to make sure that it is perfectly aligned. Make sure you pay attention to the right and left side that the handler will set once installed. I went ahead and used my drill to go ahead and mark the holes that will be needed for the metal bracket. The first hole I marked is where I'll need to drill a three and a half inch hole with a hole saw. You can see that on the bottom right hand side of the template. Next use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the metal bracket from the back of the air handler. This of course will go in the exact location that we just used the cardboard template to make. I go ahead and start installing the screws into the metal bracket. I am really impressed with the Mr. Cool Company and how everything is provided with the kit. Again, I make sure the metal bracket is level. I install the Phillip head screws that are provided with the kit. Now I can go ahead and cut that three and a half inch hole that we had already marked with a hole saw. Once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and use a long drill bit so I can go ahead and go through the exterior wall. This of course will allow me to go on the other side of the workshop and continue to drill that three and a half inch hole. Of course I'll need a three and a half inch metal saw to complete that task. Once done, install the vinyl tubing that is provided with the kit. Of course the vinyl tubing that is provided is plenty long enough as I'll need to cut off the excess on the back of the workshop. Carefully bend the lines on the air handler into place. Next, go ahead and use the vinyl tape that is provided to wrap the line set, condensant drain line, and communication cable into one bundle. The better half helped me pull the communication line through the three and a half inch hole to the exterior of the workshop. Now I'm ready to mount the air handler onto the metal bracket. Feed the line set line through the three and a half inch hole and then mount onto the metal bracket onto the wall. Now of course this is easier said than done as I had the help of the other half on the other side of the workshop pulling and feeding the line. Once the lines and tubing are in place, I can now mount the air handler on top of the bracket and then simply snap in place. Note a little difficult to see exactly how it sets on top of the bracket, but once I got that figured out, it was easily snapped in place. I went ahead and installed the rubber grommets on the concrete pad that Mr. Cool has sent with the kit. I built the 4x2 concrete slab a few days earlier. I'll provide a separate link if you'd like to see how that is done. Now the better half agreed to help me install the condenser onto the concrete pad, so a big shout out to her. This of course is where the condenser will sit. This part is almost impossible for a single person to do all by him or herself. I go ahead and secure the condenser to the concrete pad. I decided to mount the condenser to a concrete pad to prevent any sound or vibrations coming through the building with a wall mount. Now I can go ahead and install the finishing ring cap on the exterior wall. 
It is very important that I bend the line set piping tubing in a downward motion so that I do not kink any of the lines. Now I'll go ahead and pack the hole with Splied Neoclean. You can also use spray foam. This of course will cover the hole to prevent any air from escaping or anything from entering the building. Carefully unwind the quick connect line set to the desired length. In my case, I only need to unwind about 10 feet. Next, go ahead and connect the line set with the interior unit. Etch the two lines with the colored coated cap and then finger tighten to ensure that you do not cross thread the line set. Quickly tighten both lines with an adjustable wrench. Of course, follow all safety precautions and they provide a manual. Go ahead and remove the cover from the condenser inlet connections. There is one screw on the top of the cover and one screw on the bottom of the cover. Now go ahead and finger tight the line set lines to the outdoor condenser unit. Once again, this will prevent cross threading the threads. Match the lines with the color coded caps. Once both lines are finger tightened, go ahead and use an adjustable wrench to finish tightening up the lines. Be sure not to over tighten. I'm loving how easy it is to install this Mr. Cool mini split unit. Now that the lines are tightened, let's go ahead and open the refrigerant valves of the outdoor unit. Go ahead and remove the caps off of each line and then open the valve with the Allen wrench that is provided with the kit. Keep in mind there are two valves that need to be open, one large one and one small one. Fully open both valves. Go ahead and check for leaks. That can simply be done by having a bottle full of water and soap, spraying out each connection. Look for bubbles. None found here. Now go ahead and check for leaks on the other end of the line set line. Once again, no bubbles indicated, no leak. Once the line is dry, Go ahead and apply the sound deadening material that is provided in the kit. Apply the sound deadening material to each line. Make sure the material covers the entire connection. Once again, go ahead and cover both lines. Go ahead and reinstall the cover on the refrigerant condenser line inlet. Reinstall both Phillips screws on the top and on the bottom of the cover. Now I can go ahead and wrap the entire line set line with the UV non-adhesive tape that is provided with the kit. You have three tubes of this tape provided. Don't forget to install the clear tubing drain line that is also provided with the kit. In fact, if you would like, you can go ahead and wrap that up with a line set line also. I secure the UV tape with some simple electrical tape. Yes, even wrap the remaining line set line that I have behind the condenser. Let's go ahead and connect the wiring to this unit. Mr. Cool made it really easy to connect the wire into the condenser. It's red wire to number one, white wire to number two, and the black wire to number three terminals. Of course, the green to ground on the far right side. Now, even the wires are marked to match the terminal. Everything is clearly marked in the manual. Cut power before touching anything in the circuit breaker box. Use a certified electrician if not comfortable enough or experienced enough when connecting electrical wires. I already had a power box established for my pull that had a slot for a 220 circuit breaker. I used 10 gauge wire from the circuit breaker box to the condenser. I installed weather resistant conduit from the circuit breaker box to the condenser in which I installed the 10 gauge wire all the way through. This is my 30 amp 220 circuit breaker. 
Here I'm simply connecting one wire to one side of the circuit breaker and the other to the other side. And then I connect the ground wire. Now this was actually somewhat simple, but I tell you what, I sure felt a lot better with somebody that's an expert on electrical work looking over my right shoulder. So know your capabilities before you start. Look for an expert to provide that extra assistance when needed. And of course go ahead and connect the green ground wire. When I built the workshop, I already knew that the pump for my pull that I was going to install required 220. In addition, I wanted to have 220 outlets in the shop. So I made sure when the pull circuit breaker box was installed, I had a couple extra slots to install a 220 circuit breaker for the AC mini split. Now back at the condenser unit, connect one line from the circuit breaker to L1 and the other to L2. The third green wire, go ahead and connect to ground. Go ahead and make sure all terminal connections are tightened down and snug. Go ahead and reinstall the condenser terminal panel. You may notice how I have the weather resistant conduit to protect the wires. Insert the two screws for the cover, and then we are ready for power. And this is what the condenser looks like with the conduit and wires installed. Now I can go back inside the workshop and remove some of the plastic coating on the air handler. This of course was applied during shipping. Next, open the door on the air handler and install the two filters. There's one on each side of the air handler. Of course, both filters are provided with the unit. This will be something you check periodically to clean the filters out. And now the filter on the right side. And now that the door is open, go ahead and install the smart USB AC controller. That is simply installed on the underside of the door. Now close the AC handler door. Next I went ahead and installed the mini stat unit onto the wall. Select a location that's away from the AC unit, that way you can get a true reading of the temperature. I selected a location a good 20 feet from the air handler. I also installed the Mr. Cool app onto my phone. The nice thing about that is I can control the AC unit from anywhere, any location. You can schedule the temperature and even schedule the on and off times from any location. This is a free of charge download. Now let's go ahead and start this Mr. Cool mini split unit up. First thing I did was cut the circuit breaker on. Then I proceeded to go inside the workshop where I'm going to turn it on for the first time. Using the Mr. Cool app on my phone, I went ahead and cut it on. And wow, this thing is very quiet while providing nice cool air. The last thing I installed is a line guard cover. I did this on purpose to make sure that everything is operating good first. I simply followed my line set lines and installed with self-drilling screws. All the line guard pieces are provided by Mr. Cool in the kit. This is also paintable in which I may paint at a later date to match the outside of the workshop. And this is what it looks like installed on the back of the workshop. I think I did a pretty good job. You may also know how I have the drain line coming out of the corner of the line guard. I simply cut a hole and fed the plastic tubing through the line guard. Now everything is up and operating. Mission complete. With that, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and leave some comments. See you soon.